Its he say traffic lights could be used to lower greenhouse gas emissions. 22 News reporter Caitlin Gosley shows you what changes need to be made to make that happen. Getting stuck in traffic can be a headache and can be worsened by hitting red light after red light, especially if you're driving for a living and on a deadline. The lights aren't timed right, so you sit in traffic for quite a while. I mean, it's, it's actually kind of frustrating, especially if you're in a big rig. You know, you're not going to be able to make it through like a regular car. Now, MIT researchers say the longer cars sit at red lights, the more harmful pollutants are let out into the environment. The new study looked at how changing the timing of traffic lights could reduce those emissions, and its results have some drivers here in western Massachusetts wanting to see it go into effect beyond its current urban setting test runs. Anything that's going to improve the emissions standards and the quality of the air would be a positive thing that each town should probably look at individually and take into consideration. The study says that by combining how many cars are in a given area with more comprehensive data on the area's traffic patterns, cities could come up with better programs to time out traffic lights. The authors of the study argue that would lower the amount of time lines of traffic are idling. The researchers are now looking at bringing the idea to New York, among other cities, to test the potential of what they call smarter signal control. In Springfield, Caitlin Gosley, 22 News.